My name is uh, Davorin Kramar and I am an Erasmus coordinator at the faculty. And here is also Valentina uh, from the international office. Uh, she will help me with the presentation in which she will explain to you the requirements for enrolling in the various uh, programs at our faculty. And uh, we have also two students uh, and at the end uh, they will give you some impressions of studying here in Slovenia. With us is Emma Stefanowski from uh, Macedonia and later on um, Belmin will join us. Uh, he's ex, our ex-student from Bosnia. But first, uh, let's take us a look on the promo video of our faculty. As, uh, as you can see, uh, the presentation of our different technologies and uh, development of new products are in Slovene and English uh, language. I need to point out that uh, both first and second cycle of our regular uh, study programs are conducted only in Slovene. So uh, we believe that you will manage to learn Slovenian language, we will explain later about it. So um, uh, I believe that you have come to the presentation of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering today because you are choosing your future. That's why we want to show you that mechanical engineering is the profession of the future. We are developing technologies and products that the world that does not know yet, but that will have a significant impact on the quality of life. So we are developing a new generation industry with new production concepts that transform mass production into the manufacture of unique customized products. We expect increasing level of flexibility, intelligence and connectivity with internet at every step. We develop smaller and more powerful devices using micro and nanotechnologies, 3D printing, 
integration of hardware, electronics, and software solutions. We produce such mechatronic products using robotic and laser technologies that enable high precision and flexibility. In the field of mobility, in addition to the design of advanced vehicle assemblies, development is increasingly focused on new types of drives that run on electricity. The use of polymer materials, weight reduction, new energy sources, and recycling are just some of the challenges of the modern electromobility on which mechanical engineers are working intensively. We know that new technologies must preserve the, the ecological balance, which today seems fragile and unstable. That is why we are dedicated to the development of green technologies based on renewable energy sources, energy saving processes, materials with advanced properties, and surfaces with lower friction that allow for less wear, minimal maintenance, and longer product life. Demographic aging is not just a social challenge. Together with the medical community, we are developing therapeutic devices, artificial joints, and new nanoscale materials and surfaces that enable biocompatibility and thus fewer complications when incorporated in the human body. Faculty, researchers, and students collaborate with several outstanding companies, as you can see from this slide. These are famous Slovenian and international companies with faculty works with and uh, for whom we conduct research to develop their new products and technologies. In this way, students acquire purely practical skills during their studies that later open the door to wide range of employment opportunities. Let's start with our regular study programs at our faculty. As you can see from this slide, uh, we have all three cycles of study. Uh, two types of uh, first cycle, which is professional and, and academic. And uh, students need to collect 180 credits to finish this uh, first cycle. Then the second cycle of master study, students needs to collect 120 credits. And the last is uh, third cycle doctoral study uh, of tw two, 240 credits and it lasts uh, four years. Uh, the academic year of 2021-22, begin with renewed study programs for both first and the second cycle. The first cycle degree programs focus on the fundamentals of mechanical engineering, and uh, the second cycle master programs focus on the specific knowledge of each discipline. A wide range of subjects allows students to develop into mechanical engineer that meets their expectations. As you can see here at the bottom of this slide, the education at all levels in, is internationally accredited, which means that uh, it's equal. So if you study at our faculty, it's equal to study anywhere in other uh, European univers university. Let's start with first cycle academic study program, also called research and development program. So this is the program of six semesters, which means three years. There is only one program, common single program. So no specific field of study is uh, defined. And at the end, uh, students receive higher education university degree or first Bologna cycle. So uh, graduates develop the ability to critically analyze and synthesize and exercise professional engineering responsibility. 
Graduates usually continue to study on the second cycle master study program, but they can also finish with the first cycle. Uh, more information and detailed program description can be found on this uh, internet uh, link here. Maybe, uh, okay, I will not try, you can try it later. Uh, now I would give my, I will give words to Valentina to give you a short description of admission requirements for first cycle academic study program. Valentina, are you with me? Yes, thank you. Uh, okay. First, hi to you all. Um, regarding the admission requirements, I will go through them really quickly since we have uh, limited time. Um, basically, uh, the, the research and development program is open either to holders of the Matura certificate also to the holders of the vocational Matura certificate obtained in one of the four-year high school programs and general Matura examination from the subject mathematics. Uh, a lot of you are asking, for example, or for example, from Bosnia, students from Bosnia, uh, what to do if you don't have a, a Matura exam from the subject of mathematics, basically, we really strongly recommend you if you if you have an option to select mathematics mathematics and um, for your matura exam, do it. Uh, if not, then in this case in this case you will automatically follow to the category C um, of hold to holders or holders of the final examination certificate obtained in any of the four year high school programs. Okay, um, I really strongly recommend you to read all of this uh, information carefully. Uh, on our website on uh, the previous link. Um, and if you have any further question, uh, questions, you can basically uh, contact me anytime. You will see my email, uh, it will be written on the next slides and also my colleague Tiasha will write my email down in the chat. Uh, we can move on to the selection criteria in case of restricted enrollment. Basically here are, uh, here uh, is here are listed uh, selection criteria based on the previous categories to which um, each of you fall. Uh, so again, I'm gonna kindly ask you to read all of this uh, detailed information on our website. And in case of any further question, you can contact me because it is easier to, um, easier to give you more information that way because each and one of you uh, can be really specific uh, case. Um, also, if we if we move on to the next uh, slide, yeah, then the next slide is already project orientated applied program. But if you want, you can continue. Uh, you can you can you can take the you, you can present the uh, yeah just introduction yeah. Will, yeah yeah the the other first cycle program is so-called professional study program in mechanical engineering or project oriented applied program it's something similar to uh, faculty of applied science which is uh, usually can find in 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 uh, europe or fachhochschule in germany so actually this is uh, study oriented to different directions the duration of the study is the same, so six semesters and three years, but in difference for, with, with research and development program, students can choose in second year of study from a list of different directions. So from energy engineering, process engineering, design machine, design of machines and devices, design of uh, industrial system, production technologies, production engineering, Airline, tra airline transport pilot, aircraft design and maintenance, and mechatronics. So plenty, I think nine programs, different programs, you can choose at uh, this level of study. At the end, uh, students, so after accumulate uh, 180 credits, students receive higher professional uh, education degree, first diploma level, and usually they don't go further on uh, second cycle, but they can. So graduates can enroll in the second cycle master program. If they have accumulated minimum of 10 
to 15 credits. I don't know what does it mean. Uh, Valentina will explain you, but uh, I can tell you that uh, there are some differential exams because uh, this cycle is more practically orientated uh, compared to research and development and uh, has less mathematics and physics and stuff like theoretical stuff. So some extra exams are needed uh, to enroll in the second cycle. Again, more information and detail uh, program description is uh, can be found on this link. And Valentina, you can continue with admission uh, requirements and maybe could you, do you know what does it mean? Uh, this? Uh, we, we will come to this. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, so admission requirements for the professional study program, the same. This program is open either to holders of the mature certificate, holders of the vocational mature certificate obtained in one of the four-year high school programs, and to the holders of the final examination certificate obtained in any of the four-year high school programs prior to, prior to 1st June uh, 1995, okay? Um, again, I kindly ask you to read the detailed information our, on our website, and in case of any further question, you can contact me. Um, but also, uh, I would point out that uh, your main contact for the uh, for the admission documents will be uh, the admission and recognition office at the University of Ljubljana. I will explain more um, later. Uh, we can move on to the selection criteria in case of restricted enrollment. Uh, basically here we again have uh, listed uh, criteria um, by, the, uh, by the categories to which um, each candidate falls. Uh, and again, if you have if you have any further questions, you can always write me to my email. Uh, I would just I would just like to point out that uh, usually for foreigners, for foreign candidates, uh, the, there was no restricted enrollment uh, last year. Uh, just to notify you about that, uh, we can now move on to the. Uh, application enrollment and deadlines. This is basically the most important information for you to know. Uh, so if you want to apply to the first cycle study program uh, at our faculty, faculty, you have to apply via EVASHA web portal. Links are listed here um, on the, uh, the, first, uh, the, the first point of this slide. And basically be careful about the deadlines. The deadlines. So for the citizens of EU member states and Slovenians without the Slovenian citizenship, deadline uh, for your electronic application is 18th March. Um, after that, you won't be able to apply. Um, also to point out for those of you who already have completed secondary education, you have to submit all of the supporting documents by 18th of March. So for those of you who who will who don't who did who don't have already completed secondary education, you have to submit all of the supporting documents for, uh, by first of August. So for those of you who still have to complete uh, the secondary uh, the secondary uh, education, you have to you have to apply electronically by 18th of March. But then you have to submit all of the supporting documents by first of August. So if you miss the basically uh, if you miss the, uh, de the deadline of 18 March, you cannot apply anymore. OK, um, then regard then for the citizens of non EU countries, uh, the deadline for you, the application deadline is 20th of April. Uh, this is the deadline for electronic application. Uh, and again, for those of you who already have completed secondary education, you also have to submit all of the supporting documents um, to Avash portal by 20th of April. And for those of you who will be completing um, uh, your, uh, secondary education this year, you have to, uh, you, have to uh, uh, you have to submit your electronic application by 20th of April. And also afterwards by uh, 1st of August is the deadline for submitting all of the supporting documents. 
I hope I was clear enough. Uh, otherwise, all the deadlines that are also uh, listed on University of Ljubljana's website, also on the call for enrollment to the first cycle studies. Uh, if you have any problems um, finding the deadlines, uh, contact me, tell me, and we'll figure it out. Uh, we can move on to the recognition. Uh, regarding the recognition of foreign, se uh, foreign secondary education. So when you will apply um, via EVA Show Web portal, you will automatically be applying also for the process of recognition of your foreign secondary education. This process will be conducted by the authorized person at the university to which the candidate applies to as their first choice. So basically, if you apply to the University of Ljubljana, the whole process of recognition of your foreign secondary education will be conducted uh, by the recognition and admission office at the University of Ljubljana. So if you have any questions regarding the documents, I don't know, um, the, regarding the Matura examination and documents that you will have to uh, submit in your uh, Eva Show web portal, uh, I kindly ask to contact um, you, uh, to contact the mentioned office at the University of Ljubljana. Here you have written the emails in the bottom of uh, this slide. Uh, and also this is basically, th th they will be your main contact uh, when, uh, uh, when you will come to the uh, recognition of foreign secondary education. We can move on. Okay, thank you. So uh, another faculty program is second cycle master study program. As we said before, the duration is four semesters or two years. Uh, students need to collect 120 credits to finish. And uh, immediately in the first semester, students can choose from a list of different directions. So as in... Uh, application, uh, so in this project orientated applicative program, here you also have possibility to choose different directions so you can focus on the knowledge you want to gain from engineering design, mechanics, energy engineering, process engineering, production engineering, mechatronics and uh, laser technology. So uh, the graduates of second cycle are educated from the area of techniques and science to equip them into the experts who will be able efficiently and cre creatively solve complex research and development problem problems and project application tasks in the area of a wide range of mechanical engineering and will be capable to link interdisciplinary. Again, for more information and detailed program description, you can go to this website. And I will really check if, if this website is working correctly. Can you see uh, the descriptions? Somebody can. Can you see the homepage of our faculty? Uh, no, no. No, okay. Then, what about now? Yes, now it's fine. So you can get such information. So this is program information, duration, number of credits, uh, what is the professional degree, uh, objectives and uh, general competencies, uh, the structure, uh, fields of study and so on. So each uh, study program is detailed descript, described here. And at the end you have also PDF program description. So the whole document is on, on uh, this web, web page. And uh, it's the same for all, for all uh, study programs. And uh, Valentina, I will ask you to give information about, can you see the presentation now? Uh, we can, but just uh, zoom into the presentation. We can see the next slide and the next, but it's not a problem anyways. Uh, okay, no, no, I will, I will. Uh, is this okay now? 
Yep, no, it's okay. Okay. Uh, so regarding the admission requirements for the second uh, cycle master study program, uh, basically this program can be entered by anyone who has completed uh, either a study program and the first cycle evaluated with at least uh, 180 credit points in the field of mechanical engineering uh, in development research. Uh, a study program at the first cycle evaluated with at least 180 credit points in the field of mechanical engineering in, engineering in project application. Um, and either to um, a study program at the first cycle evaluated at least um, with at least 180 credit points uh, in other fields of expertise. Uh, again, uh, all of those details you can uh, read carefully um, on our website. And if you have any further questions, you can contact me. Uh, we can move on to the selection criteria in case of restricted enrollment. Um, Sorry. Um, yeah. Basically, okay. yeah. if there will be any restricted enrollment, uh, we will take into the account candidates' success in first cycle study. Uh, so we will take into the account average grade and diploma thesis grade. And for those of you who didn't have uh, a diploma thesis uh, a, on your first cycle study program, we will take in, into the account only the average grade uh, of your first cycle study. Uh, we can move on now. Uh, basically, regarding the application enrollment and deadlines, so call for enrollment into master degree programs uh, of the University of Ljubljana will be published presumably in February, so this month, uh, as soon as the government confirms the call for enrollment. And it will be published on the University of Ljubljana's website. Uh, and also it will be published on the Eva Show web portal. Um, so when the uh, call for enrollment will be published, you will be able to see all of the details regarding the number of places uh, for enrollment. Um, and also further details on uh, application. Uh, but basically when you will be uh, applying to the master uh, degree program, you will have to again apply via Evo Show web portal, the same as for the first cycle uh, study programs. Uh, and the deadline for electronic application and for submitting all of the supporting documents uh, is 1st of September. So here it doesn't matter uh, if you are if you are if you have a citizenship of EU um, uh, of EU uh, member country or non EU member country. For all of you, the deadlines are the same. So the deadline for electronic application and for submitting all of the supporting documents is will be first September. We can. Uh, okay. Then again, another thing that it's really important before applying uh, to the master degree program, pre pre please revise the requirements on bridging exams that should be completed by 2nd September at the latest if you want to enroll uh, to the next uh, study year at our faculty. So what does that mean? Uh, mean? This means that you have to send to us documentation for, re uh, for revision. Uh, so what I need from you is transcript of records and official syllabuses of listed subject in English. Um, this is the transcript of records of the, your current study program that you are finishing or you, uh, or you already finished. Um, or if you, if you have uncompleted study program, in this case, you have to send us full curriculum of study program in English confirmed by your uh, current university uh, uh, in evidence of content and duration of education. Uh, so you, you can submit all of those, all of, uh, all of the documentation uh, to my email and our commission at the faculty will go through to the transcript of records and all of the curriculum and they will basically revise uh, which bridging exam you still have to do in order, in order to be able to apply to our faculty do, to the second uh, cycle uh, study program. Uh, this, uh, this also applies for uh, the first cycle study program, only for those of you who want to transfer uh, between, the, uh, between the universities um, and between the faculty, faculties. So for example, if you are finishing your first cycle study program 
uh, I don't know, in Serbia, and you want to transfer here to our faculty um, to second year or third year, you still ha you have to do the same. So before you apply, please revise uh, with our faculty um, the requirements on uh, bridging exams so that we can see if we can acknowledge uh, uh, any of the subjects from your uh, current uh, from, or that you already passed at your current faculty uh, and to see if you will be able actually to continue here in, I don't know, second or uh, third year. But in any case, if you will be, if, if in any case, you still have to uh, fulfill the requirements of for enrollment for the first study year of uh, first cycle program. We can move on to the recognition. Uh, yeah. Then regarding the recognition of foreign education for the second cycle. So basically the whole process of recognition of foreign education uh, for all the candidates who will apply to our master degree programs will be conducted uh, at our faculty. And I will be your main contact person for that. And for uh, re uh, the uh, required documentation for the recognition of foreign education is basically scan of the bachelor diploma scan of the bachelor's diploma supplement or transcript of records, uh, chronological descriptions of the uh, description of the completed education and scan of identity document, personal ID or passport. Uh, so, but don't worry, you will also have all of the listed documentation um, on the uh, call for enrollment in Ibasha portal when the, when the call, when the applications will be open and when the call will be officially published. We can move on. Uh, okay, so another thing, year plus. Uh, I assume you already heard about this in general presentation um, uh, at one o'clock that was held uh, by the University of Ljubljana. Uh, basically, this is uh, year plus is Moodle for international students in their first regular study year at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, so basically, this is for only for available for international students who are uh, in, enrolled uh, into bachelor or master degree programs for the first time at our university. Uh, and basically when you will be, uh, when you will be accepted to our faculty and when uh, I will send you invitation to entry our faculty, I will also send you more details on how to enroll uh, to, the, uh, to the year plus model in September uh, after the acceptance. Um, and uh, also something that you have to know, this is not uh, mandatory to take, it is optional. So for those of you who will want to take this, you can, if not, uh, you don't have to take uh, these lessons, uh, but also what is the plus side of the year plus is that if you decide to take a uh, year plus model, uh, you can basically, you can have an option of one year extension of student status, um, during the first study year at the University of Ljubljana when you meet certain requirements. So this is one plus year for you, uh, but for more information, you can find all the details on the link, which is listed here on the slide. And the main contact person for the year plus model is colleague Daniela Friglo. Uh, but uh, again, all the details will follow when you are actually uh, it be accepted at our faculty and when you will be entering our faculty. So we can move on to the doctoral studies program. program. Okay, thank you, Valentina. So yeah, as I told you before, first and second cycle are at the moment in completely Slovene language. So anyone who wants to study these two cycles needs to understand that he or she will learn Slovene language. The difference is for the third cycle doctoral study program. Uh, it's actually not a program, I will explain you. So the duration of doctoral study is eight semesters and uh, or four years. And students can choose from a list of different directions from machine design and mechanics engineering science energetical process and environmental engineering science and production engineering, cybernetics and mechatronics. Actually, when you start uh, doctoral study, first you need to find a mentor. 
and together with mentor, so you first define your direction from one of listed here, and together with your mentor, you find four exams from the big list of uh, of exams of subjects from the third cycle doctoral study program, which can be found on the link on the bottom of this slide. So actually, you are defining four subjects which are really uh, interested for you and are the topic of your doctoral thesis. So graduate, graduates of third cycle are educated for independent scientific and research work in mechanical engineering science. The program, as I said, is entirely based by the principle of choosing options where the students with the assistance of their research mentors, so together with mentor, students choose and create their own research path. These uh, subjects are usually uh, given by professor, pro different professors, and professors give individual material to study. And finally, uh, the, you have some conversations with individual uh, professors. And at the end, you have some seminar way to, to pass the exam. So you can get uh, English material to study and finally you can do also uh, have a defense in English. So doctoral study is a bit different, uh, different uh, compared to master and first cycle. So uh, therefore they can follow, so you can follow the needs of the future employers, employers uh, to be integrated later when finishing the program. So at the bottom of the site, you can find more uh, information and detailed program description. And uh, Valentina will give you final instructions for admission requirements, please. Okay, so uh, the third cycle of the study program uh, in mechanical engineering can be entered by anyone who has completed either second cycle study program, study program to obtain a university education accepted before 11 June of 2004, study program to obtain a specialization in science and technology, uh, who have completed a higher professional study program, uh, also study program to obtain a master of science degree and a degree program educa uh, educating for professionals regulated by EU uh, directives. directives. Um, again, I'm gonna kindly ask you to read all of those uh, details on our website. And in case of any further questions, you can always contact us. Uh, we can move on to the next slide. Again, application, enrol enrollment, and deadlines. Call for enrollment into doctoral degree programs of the University of Ljubljana for the next academic year will be again published presumably in uh, February, uh, hopefully this month, yes. And also the call for enrollment will be published at the University of Ljubljana's website and also on the Eva Show web portal. Uh, and then application procedure is basically the same as for the first and uh, second cycle uh, degree programs, you will have to apply it uh, via Evosho web portal. And uh, regarding the deadlines, uh, deadline for electronic application and for submitting all of the supporting documents in, is 1st of September. Uh, so it is basically the same as for the second cycle uh, study programs. Uh, we can move on. Uh, then also the most important thing for you to know is a uh, list of a uh, list of uh, required attachments for application into the doctoral study program. Basically, you'll have to upload your CV, uh, also bibliography, but this one, this is not required. If you have uh, published, um, uh, published work, then you can you know, attach your bibliography. Uh, otherwise, it is not necessary. Uh, then the most important thing for you is also to upload signed statement by the mentor. You have to choose mentor from our faculty. You can find the list of potential mentors at our uh, faculty's website. And also I really want to um, please start finding the mentor before you apply to our study programs. Because a lot of time, uh, times happens that uh, student candidates applies to the, uh, apply to the Eversho portals, but they don't have the mentor yet. 
So please, I kindly ask you to start uh, searching for mentor as soon as possible before applying um, to the uh, and, uh, to the uh, doctoral study program because some of the professors uh, they need time to you know to 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 reply to you to think about it if they are um, if they are um, the right mentor for you or no or not um, so please um, start searching for the mentor as soon as possible. Also, one of the most important things that you will have to upload to your Ava, uh, to your Ava shop portal when applying to uh, this study program is short conceptual design of the research work and the documentation for recognition of foreign education. We can move on. Um, regarding the recognition of foreign education, this is also, this pro uh, process will again be conducted at our faculty, faculty of mechanical engineering if you, uh, if you apply here. Uh, and the process will be conducted by me, and I will also be your main contact uh, when uh, uh, when arranging the do uh, documentation for recognition of for your of foreign education. Uh, and required documentation for this is the scan of uh, your master diploma, scan of the bachelor diploma, scan of the master's diploma supplement and trans or transcript of records, and scan of the bachelor's diploma supplement or transcript of records. A, a chronological description of completed education and scan of identity document. So uh, also don't worry, all of those, um, all the documentation, required documentation will also be listed in the call of the enrollment and uh, in EVOS uh, portal when you will be applying. Okay. We can move on. Yeah, Valentina, thank mm -hmm. you for all the explanations. We are quite late, so I will proceed a bit faster. Uh, so I need to point it out uh, at the end of the presentation that both first, first and second cycles, uh, the study process consists of lectures and tutorials. So uh, tutors, demonstrators, assistants and professors will guide you to a successful completion of your study within lectures and practical work. And uh, in addition to your studies, you can participate in various student, student uh, projects, such as uh, Formula Student, as you see in this presentation, and even more attractive and popular, the Design, Build and Fly group, which constructs special purpose aircrafts without pilots. And the competition is each year supported by, by NASA, NASA in, in United States. And you have some other, other extracurricular activities from Opportunity Fair where you, where you can meet with companies. So companies are coming to the faculty and show their interest and looking for new, new uh, uh, employees and different uh, workshops, career, career uh, development consulting, different uh, sports we, uh, you can join as our students and so on. Yeah, parties at the end, the students will show you how to do this. Uh, we are too old to, to describe. And um, at the end, coming back to why you are here today, I would like to emphasize that the start of successful career begins with choosing the right university. Uh, at the Faculty of Mechanical uh, Engineering, you will learn how to solve concrete challenges in the world of mechanical engineering. You will work with colleagues and successful com companies and be supported by excellent mentors. If you are creative, curious, uh, responsible, independent, independent and a team player, then you are cordially invited to join us at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. A secure job awaits you at the end of your studies for sure. And uh, here are some additional information. So this is uh, our web page. And uh, here you have our web page, and also you can find some information on our Facebook uh, page, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And for the end of our presentation, I would like to give a short, some words from, uh, invite my colleague, uh, Emma. She's a PhD student at the moment. She's finished 
he, she has finished uh, her second master's cycle at our faculty and now she's our PhD student coming from Macedonia, as I said, and Emma, can you hear me? Can you give some impressions of your, your study at our faculty? Yeah, hello everyone. Um, to quickly introduce myself, as mentioned, I'm Emma Stepanovska. I'm coming from Skopje, from Macedonia. I currently work as a young researcher enrolled in the second year of uh, doctoral studies of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering within the University of Ljubljana. Today, I will show, shortly share with you about how I came here and the great opportunity I had to participate in the CIPUS exchange program and study in the Republic of Slovenia for a whole year. Uh, when I applied for this uh, program, I was a master's student at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Skopje. I was so interested in studying abroad uh, from the fact that I, it would provide me with a unique opportunity to continue studying what I'm passionate about uh, in international surroundings, allowing me to reinforce my skill and adaptability. After doing some research, I came to the conclusion that the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering within the University of Ljubljana offers all these qualities and contributes in acquisition and application of knowledge. Uh, as I mentioned, Already, my exchange from one university to another during my master's studies was allowed by the CIPUS network, that's Central European Exchange Program for University Studies, uh, and uh, is supporting cooperation between higher education and institutions from over 15 member countries. Uh, the mobility types offered for, are offered for bachelor's, master's, and PhD students. And there are semester stays as well as short-term stays for students working on their final thesis or dissertations. Uh, I advise everyone who is interested to participate in this program to first of all contact the CIPUS coordinator at their home institution and inquire some information about the number of available scholarships, destinations and selection procedure. Um, also, you can find all this information on the official CIPUS website. I can also share the, the link later. Uh, well, based on my personal experience, uh, during the first uh, semester of my exchange at the University of Ljubljana, I have completed several interesting subjects uh, that were well organized, provided practical real world experience in addition to this traditional classroom learning. Uh, also really important, the professors and assistants were uh, very helpful and always willing to ask for, answer all of the questions as well as provide everyone with expert advice. In addition to that, later on I have successfully achieved to work on my master's thesis on topic connected to mechatronics as well as complete all necessary tasks between the professional guidance and constructive suggestions from my mentor. Uh, writing this master thesis, which is research focused, helped me really to improve my mechatronic skills including practical training and laboratory work. Uh, also the pleasure of attending this exchange at the University of Ljubljana was not only limited to the opportunity to study in this different environment, but also to meet new people from different backgrounds, discover many other cultures. And also there are a lot of events held on a regular basis. So that allows everyone to, to have the chance to participate in a variety of activities. Uh, this experience overall inspired me to enroll in doctoral studies and uh, continue my career as young researcher at the University of Ljubljana. Therefore, there are kind of a lot of advantages of studying abroad, and this is why I highly recommend to everyone to, to get the chance and experience this and grow even more, both on personal and professional levels. Uh, so if anyone has any questions regarding how I came here in more detail, I will be really happy to answer. So thank you for the attention. Thank you, Emma. Uh, you are really good in English, but uh, what was the case of Slovenian language? Yeah, also that opportunity not to forget, like I already speak Slovenian <laughs> quite fine. So. That's yeah. another opportunity for everyone who will be studying here. I think everyone will, will learn that shortly. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Perfect. And then uh, another one is Belmin from uh, Tuzla, Bosnia. Uh, and would like, uh, because we are, sorry, Emma, uh, we are short in time. Uh, so I need to invite Belmin to say something to our incoming students from regions, so from ex-Yugoslavia uh, republics, 
So, Belmin, are you with us? You can uh, you can uh, give yes, your I'm impressions here. in in Bosnian or Slovenian? Yeah. Oh boy, actually, Chimani. No, super. So you learned the Slovene in these four years. You 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 took this year plus and yeah, uh, yes. learned Slovene very well. You are now employee in one of Slovenian company. But možeš da nam sad ispričaš na bosanski ili srpski, hrvatski, znači na neki od od naših esperanto jugo jezika i objasniš u minuti dve kako je to išlo s tobom. Ok, na začetku bi se samo opravičio tistima, ki ne razumejo naše jezika, ne? Pol pa na angliško, ne? Sorry, because I didn't prepare anything on English, but I will introduce myself on Bosnian language. Ok, zdaj pa tisti naši, ki pojo razumeli, a ne? Ok, ja, na začetku, ja sem Belmin Ramič in dolazim iz Tuzle. Diplomiral sem na Mašinskom faksu v Ljubljanu prošle godine, trenutno pripremam diferencijalne izpete za magisterski studij. Siguran sem, da se svi okupljeni ovde nalaze na jednoj velikoj prekretnici v životu, gdje treba svako od njih da odluči, v kojim pravcem krenut, koji fakultet ti zabrat. Prije četiri godine ja sam se našao u sličnoj situaciji i znam da nije lako se odlučiti na studiji negdje daleko od toplog doma. Elem, prije završetka srednje škole sam tražio gdje svoj mogu studirati mašinstvo, jer kao srednjoškolac, kasnije i diplomirani mašinski tehničar, već u krvi mi je ušlo malo tog nagona ka perfekcionizmu i inovacijama odnosno na takvom načinu razmišljanja. Za studiju u Ljubljani sam se odlučio jer sam slučajno na internetu naišao na video snimak gdje se mašinski faks predstavlja i najviše mi se dojmilo to koliko dosta inovacija izađe svakog laboratorija. Iskreno, na početku samog studija nisam razmišljao o tome koliko stvari povezuje mašinstvo i da njegova primjena se nalazi doslovno svuda oko nas, pa čak i tamo gdje ne bi mogli da zamislimo ako se odlučite studirati na mašinskom faksu, savjetuje vam da učite redovno i da ne ostavljate ništa za kasnije, odnosno nemojte biti kampanjci. Na kraju bih rekao jednu misao koju je nedavno jedan naš kolega prilikom jednog intervjua rekao, a to je da inženjeri kao ljudi nikad neće imati problema, već samo izazove. Zato i neki vama bude ovaj dolazak ovdje na studiji izazov, a ne problem. Hvala Belmine za tvoje lepe reči, iskrene. See you in October or in September.